Hello! Hi, my beautiful people. Welcome to my channel. My name is Myrna. And in today's video, I first of all, I know it's been a while. I'm sorry, y'all. Life be life in. But that's no excuse. I should be uploading more consistent. And I'm going to do my best to be consistent, okay? When I tell you guys lately, I want to be vulnerable for a second. To be honest, I haven't really been uploading like that because I just been feeling so low. I'm at this part of my life where I, I feel like I should be at a certain place and I'm not and then I overthink and then it just makes me not want to do anything and then procrastinate and then I don't want to say self-destructive but it's just like that's destructive what is it sabotage that's it self-sabotage so yesterday I was watching this video on this girl I will put her picture and her channel right here when I watched her video it spoke to me like deep and also the comments literally the amount of comments she had in the video at the time was the number of my birthday so I felt like that was a sign to talk about this. So basically in the video, she was talking about why am I never picked? And literally I was just talking to one of my buddies about it. Because when I tell you like, the reason why I was self sabotage is because I just felt like I was not good enough. The people around me I always felt like the girlfriend that was never good enough to be like to stay with and then I think they're eventually gonna leave me and leave me for somebody else and I'm just like what am I doing wrong that they're not choosing me I'm always the friend who you know they go out with their other friends and I'm never invited even though it's like a mutual friend group I'm never invited I'm usually doing stuff by myself and I just felt like I just was not good enough for certain things. And I feel like that's why, I don't know if you've been experiencing this too, but I've been so stagnant because I was just so scared because I just did not think that I was good enough to do certain things and that it would fail. So I just rather would not do it. Why did I feel like I wasn't good enough to be the one? Oh, why don't people like me? And that can all stem from your childhood. So I'm thinking, what happened in my childhood that is making me just feel like I'm not good enough? Because I just felt like I'm just, I try to come off as this person that's happy and you know, bubbly, but deep down inside, it could be my Scorpio moon too. I just be in my room and I'm just sad. I'm like, why am I so sad? Because I felt like I just wasn't good enough to do anything. Literally, even when it comes to jobs, when it comes to school, when it comes to like close relationships, I felt like that. And it stems from like, where in your childhood do you feel like you didn't feel like you were good enough? And I could say that it kind of stemmed from my parents. Basically, like my mom left my dad, but the way they, both of them, and mind you, I'm, you know, I'm West African, but I'm an only child. So I don't really have like a sibling to talk to about this kind of stuff or to express myself. And also too, all my family is in Africa. My mom's family is from, you know, Liberia. My dad's family's from Ghana. But it's so weird. I don't know a single person from my dad's side of my family. For some reason, I've never talked to my grandmother. I've never talked to my cousins. I've never talked to my aunts. I don't know who they are. I don't know what their name is. And I don't know why he's not telling me. I just always thought that that was a little bit... Mm. And he doesn't even want to teach me his native language. So it was like Miss me being an only child and my mom's family's in Africa. All of them. I know some of them. I've been there twice in Liberia. So I know like if I see them on the street, I'll recognize them. But I'm not close to nobody in my family but my mom and my dad. And the way they separated was, well, this is how, how my dad explained it. One day he came home and my mom just left. Like she moved out and whatever. So my dad will always say, your mom left us, your mom left us, your mom left you and me, your mom left you, your mom left you. And then even the way she would act, because she's she goes to her own, own personal things either, I always felt like my feelings weren't validated. Like if I'm sad about something and I'm trying to tell her mommy this is what happened to me, she would not listen to me. 
but she will call her friends on the phone. She'll call her family members in Africa and then she'll be talking about her stuff. So I'm like, I'm not good enough. My dad's telling me that my mom doesn't really like care that she's not really looking out for me. Like she don't care about me. And then here go my mom acting like she don't care about me. She would rather talk to her friends on the phone and see me crying and she don't care. Like I would literally be like, mommy, like I'm sad, blah, blah, blah. She'll start humming. She, she, she won't respond to me. And she'll be like, what Myrna? I'm tired. And, and then she'll call somebody else on the phone. And then my dad will constantly tell me about, oh, your mom doesn't really care. Your mom is this, your mom is that. You know, she left you, she used to do this to you. And then telling me about when I was younger, how my family members basically like treated me like the, the outcast. He left or she left, I live with both, I lived with both of them, but they don't, they, they were separated since I was like six or seven. So I guess from there, feeling like that, it just stemmed into me wanting to be close to people. So I would treat my friends like, to me, like they're family. And for some reason, all the friends that I chose or the friends that chose me, I see my nails, sorry. All the friends that chose me, I just felt like they were not paying me no mind. Every time they call me, and one event, they need me to be there, I'm there. But then when it comes to the, like, when it comes to me, where they at though? They ain't nowhere to be found. And that made me feel sad. And then in relationships too, it's like, I would care about them so much and I would do so much and they would not. My last relationship really hurt me because he really told me that I loved him more than he loved me and I knew that this whole time. And I'm just like, wow. And then even somebody that I was just recently dealing with, he told me that I'm always gonna choose myself. What you're feeling right now, I don't care because I'm always gonna choose myself. And I'm just like, and then even then I always noticed that like as soon as me and so-and-so break up, they, they, um, they're back with somebody else. Like the, my last relationship, I was with him for like two years and not even a month or I don't even know how much longer um, later. One of my other friends told me that he was in a whole relationship and he's still with her two years later. So I'm just like, wow, and my ass is still single and I'm like, what am I doing wrong? Me feeling like that, it's just like, why do I keep attracting these people who just don't care about me? And even one of my other girlfriends was like, Myrna, you always go for people who don't love you, who don't care about you. And it's sad because I really believe that. So that messed up my self-esteem. Like when I think about it, you, let me take my time here. You really have to forgive your younger self, right? Me telling you about like my background. Back then it's like my mind will be stuck on the past and then that will make me sad. Don't do that. You have to forgive your past self to be able to move forward. The reason why you keep being in these situations where people seem to not care about you is because do you honestly, honestly care about yourself? Because all the relationships that you see around you is a reflection of how you view yourself. People now are saying self-care, self-love. Do you really love yourself? Because I will always say, I love myself, I love myself but these people keep hurting you and you keep going back. Is that you loving yourself or is that you choosing them over you? Because every time I will always think about like when you have self dignity, it could be the, the most loneliest feeling. And that was my problem. I would always feel like I'm alone, so I don't wanna be by myself. So if somebody hurts me, I'm just gonna forgive them and take them back so I'm not by myself. Is that you loving yourself or you're constantly hurting yourself? Just think about it. Why do you keep allowing these people back in your life if that's what you were doing? Cause that's what I was doing, I didn't wanna be alone. Literally these people are showing you a lesson that you have to figure out within yourself. Because when that boy was like, I'm always gonna choose me. A red flag, if, if, if you're crying, right? And you're trying to ex ex um, express your feelings to some guy and he is like looking at you deadpan like, 
That's a red flag. Just let him go. Because I feel like if I see somebody that I love crying, I'm going to want to help them and be like, what's wrong? I'm here for you. But if they don't care, then bye. But he said, I'm always going to choose me. And he was like, why do you keep coming back to me? And clearly, like, I'm disrespecting you. And I just, I was not loving myself. That's not loving yourself. These people are not choosing you because that is you that is showing you that you're not choosing yourself and the more that you are in this mind of nobody cares about me nobody loves me um, nobody needs me all of that is you basically victimizing yourself and you're making that your story and you know words are spells words have power so the more that you're saying that and the more that you believe it, it will come into fruition. I saw this video on TikTok with, I forgot his name, but basically this girl was saying, what did she say? She basically was like, I don't trust people. I, it's so hard for me to trust. And he said to her, is that really what you believe? You don't trust? You're trusting the fact that you don't trust more than you don't trust. So that's why you're not trusting, if that makes sense. Basically, it's like you have that mind where it's like you're trusting the fact that I can't trust nobody. I can't trust nobody. You're believing that idea in your mind and that is what you're going to attract that you can't trust because you're trusting that. Literally, don't make that your narrative. Forgive your past self. You have to do the inner work. There's some, I'm not, like I've been, trying to get into TikTok, even though it might be banned soon, but there was this book that they're pushing, it's a self-work book, and I really want to like, get, I want to get it to be honest, because I need to do some self-work, because I'm just like, yo, I keep attracting these people and I keep hurting myself and I keep going back to them because I don't want to be alone. But once you start to choose the other person over yourself and your feelings, you care about their feelings more, that's when you're not choosing yourself and you're going to keep attracting that and it's going to keep happening until you finally learn to move forward from that you have to learn to overcome it and choose yourself and once you choose yourself and you trust yourself all of what other people say is not going to matter literally is not going to matter you always got to choose yourself you're always going to have you at the end of the day I really had to sit there because like I watched her video and I'm like, yo, that's why my self-esteem because I know I'm beautiful. Look at me. I'm beautiful. I know I'm talented, but why is my life not moving forward? Why am I still in the same space I was five years ago? Why do I always feel like nobody loves me? Why do I always feel like I'm not good enough to be chosen for a job or for friends or for a relationship? It's because it's like, girl, do you love yourself? I'll use this example. Look at this plant that I had last year. Look at it, the apathos. Do you see that? It's like a little line, a little, like one thing that's a leaf, little leaf at the bottom. And I was like, oh my gosh, like I don't wanna have to cut this thing because what if it doesn't grow back? My mom was like, Myrna, cut it, you know, put it in some water. It's gonna take some time, but let it grow a little bit and then because I, I didn't really know about propagation, right? So propagation, is it propagation? You put the little, um, you cut the, the leaf or where the, the little nub is, you put it in the water, let it grow some roots, and then you can put it back in the plant. But I was like, I'm so scared to cut this thing because look how long it got. Look how long it got. I cut it one day. I was like, you know what? I want to try and cut it and see what happens. I cut all the, because they have like little nubs or little whatever. I cut them in pieces, I put them in water, they started to grow some roots. It took some time now, it took like a month to, before I really started seeing some roots and I put it back in and now look at the plant. Look at the plant. See how full it look now? But if I would have kept that thing with the little string like that, it would have never grown. It would have just been looking dry and dusty. So for you, to have to bring new relationships and to bring people who actually care about you, you have to cut them off. And it may be lonely, it may be quiet, you may be like, oh my gosh, I feel so alone, but that is good. Because just like this plant here, look at that thing, it looks sad. But have faith, 
cut that sh put it in some water give it some time put it back in the soil and watch how full it gets that's basically how life is you have to cut those people off once you once you choose them their feelings and you go back to them that's when you're not choosing yourself you always got to choose yourself at the end of the day and once you do that and once it becomes quiet and once you start to work on yourself figure out what do i love to do do i like to write do i like to dance do i like poetry do i like numbers like you never know what that quiet time could come like what can come from it and then once you work on yourself because that's what really matters once you work on yourself and you're this complete being while being by yourself because being with these other people is just going to drag you down like that plant and you may think that i'm holding on to something just because i've had it for a long time there's a lot of people who are in relationships that they're in a relationship for a long time and they're like i've been with this person for 10 years for 20 years but what came from it sometimes it'd be the second marriages that work the best sometimes your your friendships from your childhood is not serving you and look look at the friends that can come from you being a complete person that's that's the phase i'm going through right now because i noticed that all my friends they didn't they did not have the same interests as me i don't want to say all of them but a lot of them that i cut off we did not have the same interests and maybe once i get into what i really love to do maybe i will have the friends that i always wanted and that really do love me and that they pick me you guys basically what i'm trying to say is because i'm also working on it too always choose yourself don't care about what these other people think don't care about being alone don't because like i said the moment that you go back is when you choose them you have to heal from your past. What Try to really do that work and be like, what happened in my childhood that made me feel like nobody picks me and nobody loves me? That's what your life ends up being. You don't wanna be in that space for too long. Can you imagine being like that for the rest of your life? Having that narrative? You don't want that. This is the youngest right now, you watching this video, this is the youngest you'll ever be. The only thing in this life that's promised is to check out. Always choose yourself. And I'm telling you, once you let go of those dead ends, do that inner work, pray. I don't know if you're, um, if you're religious, but just pray. Pray for God to just give you discernment and to show you what you need to be shown. And yeah, that's literally what I've been working on because I can't I can't be sad like this no more. Like I gotta choose me. I gotta and that's the only way that that you're gonna be happy. You can never find happiness within somebody. Choose you. So with that being said, let me know down in the comment section about how you're feeling today and if you can relate to what I said and write I choose me if you got this far in the video if you don't subscribe to me you're gonna be alone <laughs> but that's not bad though that's the whole point of the video <sighs> you gotta choose you guys you gotta choose you so if you don't subscribe to me you're gonna be lonely I guess so if you want more abundantly loving people, like I said, in your life, subscribe to me. All right, you guys. I love you so much. I'm going to be posting more. Okay. <laughs> Bye.